so severely that there was, well, yeah. Anyway, that welcome to episode number 26 of the Marty and Michael podcast. It's fully actual. Matt! Three! Oh! <laughs> He's back, Jack. <laughs> Um, and what fuck? What the fuck? I've got one of those fucking things I spoke about in previous podcast. A hair, the hair is going over my eye. Yeah, you just look. You just do it. this. You just wa- no. Is he? You just wipe across your face once with no. your whole hand. No, no, it's not my fucking long hairs. It's an it's an eyebrow hair. Yeah, I'll well, do it to your eyebrow too. Wipe look, it a bit. I've done. That. Rearrange it. It's been. I've been doing. I've been ripping them out and spurting them out. Oh, to go get the razor. Do you want me to go get hey, the razor? Hey, sorry, I'm confused. So your eyebrow hairs are coming down into your eyes. I can see this fucking strand. Going over my eye and it's like from the lights, it's just fucking hair like that. It's not your eyelash? Oh. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> don't think we have brown. ourselves a winner. Matty Brown. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Let's see. <laughs> Holy shit. That's why you are Matthew Brown. <laughs> I think he fixed it. No, no, no. It's still there. Something's oh. going on. But- maybe you're just going a little bit blind. Oh. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's oh, a small yeah. amount of blindness in his eye from all the years. Is it a bit of a blur, oh. maybe? <gasps> a no, it's just a little fucking faint hair there. And I just want oh, a hairline, a hairline blimp. They call it in the medical terms. That is a, a beginning stages of blind blindness, like a hairline. Fuck off! I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's new. It's a new thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> just read about it the other day. Pranked ya. Got you down and I bloody got you down, brother. Oh, nah, nah, you're sweet, bro. It's probably just a hair. Anyway, what happened last week? The fuck? Oh, well, I'm, I'm getting settled. What do you think of the place? What are your opinions? Yeah, it's, it's, there's definitely a step up from- I, I think this is the best place I've ever seen you in. Yeah, well, I've gone from sheds to a shack to this. <laughs> but like- Yeah, it's, no, it's definitely, yeah. I've like actually tried to put effort into it. I bought like fake plants, a rug. Yeah. Rad art. Yeah, the artwork's looking awesome. I think shout out again to Greg Shelton. We'll yeah. do so uh, we'll do a, a house tour um for our website uh members, guys. Uh by the way, this podcast sponsored by Mario Michael. Uh, uh, University of Michael. Um if you want to support this podcast, go sign up to our website. It's a cup of a coffee a month. Yeah, a and, cup of a coffee a month and it's yeah it's five bucks five bucks us a month and um two new videos a week on it that's what we're pumping out on there a lot at the moment it's fucked <clears throat> anyway on with the uh the house yeah it's fucking i'm going up man i'm yeah. finally starting to grow up i've started reading yeah you bought fucking forks and shit like, like- enid blyton paul jennings it's been fucking yeah. great and he's put his crayons uh, are not they're not out in the open anymore his crayons he's I pack shit packed away it, packed it away and he's i bought a storage yeah. unit look look i've put our camera on there he's fucking what are you down to three three nappies a week now <laughs> look i haven't even opened my latest pack so- i like yeah i've been <laughs> I mean, so much better. Seriously, I thought about it the other night when I was like, fuck, on the weekend. You're I've a grown a few, man now. Had a few beers. I should put a nappy on. Yeah. But I was like, fuck it, take a risk. Mm. And I that fell risk a- paid off, eh? Yeah, I- yeah. Yeah, it did because I didn't piss. <laughs> I fell asleep in your room once at one of your old houses and and I was, just, I was just really tired and I fell asleep. And I remember waking up and I thought I, thought I was like, like in a rubbish dump. In one of my, in my actual room, yeah, one of your rooms. And dude, I, not not being mean, not being mean, but this no, is true. Dude, I, I really thought I woke up in a rubbish dump. dump. We live and in- and um and I thought I was like, am I drunk? Did, and I and I then my thought was, no, that they, they drugged me. They've oh. drugged me. And then I and then I came to and then I realized Boz was like in the doorway and I was like, oh, hang on. I'm at Michael's house. I'm at Michael and Marty's. <laughs> yeah, well, remember our room when we first kicked off? Oh, man. We just had to we share a bed in... for fucking- it, You couldn't see the floor. It, yeah, was, it was- The bed well, it was- Because it was just a mattress. There was a fucking- like a, a wall room. around it. A wall around it of clothes. And then you'd have to go over the wall of clothes <laughs> to, to get, get to into the, the bed. It was <laughs> it would be so weird. Me and Michael and Bosley sleeping in that bed for fucking like a oh, year nearly. A I year do remember and a half. this. Uh, you, you guys asked me to help you move to the next place. And when I rolled up, 
up with my ute um you know, you came out with a mattress and we put it in the back and then you both threw bags of clothes and it said that's it i was like are you sure we had no and, furniture and, and you literally like no we're leaving everything nothing. else there <laughs> but like it's so good when you don't own shit because if like, like, moving out moving so easy. much easier yeah. and like if you have too many things i don't know it crowds your mind and your style and <laughs> just if like when i have to move again I'm going to hate it even more because I've bought double the shit I had before. Yeah, I know. And now it's like, fuck, I can't imagine having to go, especially with this <laughs> helping. Like, it's just too hard. But you, you sort of live the fight club life where, um, what's the saying? If the more you, the more you want, you know, the more you buy possessions, the more possessions own you, the more you own well, possessions. Yeah, that's yeah. why minimalists like fucking, their lives are amazing because they don't have much. They don't mm. have to fucking think about much. Did you remember the, um, do you remember the homeless man in Tawong and his name was Ziggy? Yeah, we drove past the bag. We drove past it. Yeah, today. They they thought he was quite rich. I'm not sure. I'd love to know. If anyone knows, if anyone knows, comment. He was a law student or something as well. And and he just preferred to live on the street and just with nothing because it was easier. Yeah, because my brother was his studying law and said that the law students would go to him and ask for like advice with assignments. They tried to to get rid of him and he took them to court and won. Yeah, yeah, because he knows his shit. He can fucking sleep where he can smell a rat. He can smell a rat. Yeah, he yeah, and he, he well he can, he can sorry. Sm- um, think about <laughs> it. Oh, you I fucking my lost my train of thought. <laughs> With smell a rat, well, that's a good joke at least to make you lose your thought. <laughs> eh? you smell a rat. Boy, that's a um, saying. Uh, that's a saying a you should do for your video. You smell Fuck you, fool! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my gun. I've only got a hammer. <laughs> Cut that corner. Oh, why? That was, was good. A shit joke. Oh, I liked wasn't it. Wasn't that funny? Yeah, it, wasn't it, looked, it sounded like the whole build up was so that you could make that joke. Cut that corner. Matt agrees is a shit joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, guys, guess what? Matt's been around. He's been rustling his feathers and papers flying around a calculator like this. I saw for a little bit he was doing that. Calling really? people, calling pubs, calling people in pubs and shit. I don't know what he's found. I don't know what he's found college. here, but it's crazy. It's on this he's day. Been college. It's on he's this been day. College. He's been to college. He's been to college. It's, it's on this day. He's got. Yeah, he's got four on this day. Three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh sound like one of those toys. <laughs> 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 what are they called? Oh, oh, if anyone knows the name of those those toys, can you comment, please? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Three, <laughs> three, <laughs> three. Okay. On oh, this so day, better. On this very day, whatever date it is, whatever date you're listening to this on, this happened. On this day in 1988. Russell Crowe used infants as bait when fishing for shark. He would snatch infants from prams and claim that he never realized that infants were actually small humans. He always just thought infants were some sort of sick dying animal due to their lack of strength and soft squishy bodies, similar to how food goes soft and squishy when it's rotting. Anyway, after finding an infant, he would thread the hook through its top and bottom lip and cast his line with great force sometimes casting well over 50 meters. <laughs> Although he managed to catch multiple sharks with the infants, to his credit, Russell did stop fishing with babies when he was told that infants were actually small humans. So he did stop. Wow, what a like horrific mistake to make. Imagine not knowing what a baby is. Like It's crazy. He must have just never grown up around any babies. Yeah, well, gladiator dude. They didn't have them back then. No. Yeah, so true. I didn't think of anything like that before. Next one. (laughs) On this day in 1982, Tom Cruise nibbled his way out of the cocoon he had grown up in. Tom isn't sure how many years he spent in his cocoon, but remembers making the cocoon back when he was still in the larvae worm phase of his life in the early 1920s. Tom, Tom is currently in the pupa life cycle and still has one step of his life cycle to evolve into. The final life cycle involves Tom finding a body of fresh water, consuming large quantities of fish, and then dissolving into a foam and floating on top of the water. From here, he will prepare to be fertilized by another one of his kind, which starts to process all over again. 
Well, Scientology. Scientology, yeah. Hundred oh, percent. Oh wow! Is that wow, what they dude, do? I like it when you look into like all that cult shit. That's yeah. what Scientology is. What is there I any just Jeffrey said, that's what Epstein stuff this week? Could be. Hmm. I guess we'll have to read on. On this day, we should just scatter that throughout our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just say, just, just whisper things in. <laughs> Bill Clinton, buy our merch. <laughs> Unsolved murders. On this day in 1999, Ronald McDonald was arrested for the first time for drug possession. <laughs> this event sparked a huge downhill spiral for Ronald. Over the coming years, he was charged with sexually assaulting the Hamburglar, possession of an illegal firearm, and multiple drug charges. His lowest point came in 2005 when his home address was raided by police where they discovered the body of Grimace. His three-week-old corpse had flesh torn from it, and they found over three litres of Ronald's ejaculate circulating Grimace's digestive system. <laughs> Donald was admitted for psychiatric evaluation was diagnosed with severe bipolar and depression, as well as addictions to cocaine, heroin, and meth. The original Ronald McDonald is still in maximum security prison today and is set to be released in 2034. Holy fuck. <laughs> Did you know what Grimace was like meant to be? What yeah, no. they fucking make him out, what they think he is? What? He's a chicken nugget. I was wondering what, what? the fuck he He's was. He's a fucking chicken nugget, a purple chicken nugget. Ah. That doesn't make sense to me. I know, it doesn't make sense. The color, even though it fucking, like, shout out to purple, best color yet. <laughs> but fucking hell. Grimace is meant to be a chicken nugget. Man. That doesn't make sense. Well, it works. All He's the... pretty cute, though. I, I remember as a kid. Being, as I like remember a, as a kid a being a cuddly little bear. I remember as a kid when I was writing this today. I remember it, being drawn to McDonald's when I was a kid for no fucking reason. Like, like it's the ads yeah, it's and the, the fucking, fucking and the parties you have. Sure, yeah, I'd go parties. there. I wouldn't ever even like the food. I'm like, oh, like I'd always beg mum and dad to take me. And I'm like, oh, it's fucking shit. Dude, Dude it's I the think playgrounds about it now? and the McDonald's. When you have your birthdays, yeah, I, I had one when I was I can't remember some young. They're and they walk amazing. you through. The, the place and they, they lock you in the freezer and I thought that was the best thing ever yeah well yeah. even yeah as you said the fucking playground they yeah, they sell it, the they're marketing and they hook them and, and where then, are those kids now that have grown up but like and once you realise like how good is it when you actually cook a meal yeah, I know. Yeah, like I, no, I hate but fuck, cooking. We had but to, having said that though, man, we've had some good times at Macca's. Oh, but yeah, like, but too I much, can't imagine eating. Macca's yeah, yeah, we, we never eat been that in, shit. We, when our bodies would crumble if we ate that. I feel shit it'd now. be like it's like remember when you have hangover food like KFC, you feel like you're gonna vomit. That's what fucking same yeah. thing with McDonald's. We haven't you, had it makes time. you feel sick. But fuck, we used to eat it a lot because and, we had to because it's cheap and convenient. Yeah, I know. And fucking Domino's, at least they're not five dollars a pizza. That's what we used to have. One as much as we sort of harass you or slightly promote you that's an uber driver's <laughs> dinner we we are uh, we were fucking big supporters we back helped in the day. you so yeah we helped you financially back in the day and we also helped and you now we're promotion. taking care of marketing yeah. sides of things yes yeah, so how about a thank you <laughs> behind the scenes behind the scenes what turned me off massively for fucking uh chicken in general or mcdonald's so I used to love, I love my chicken nuggets, oh, my grimaces. Chicken. Oh, you saw me every oh, fucking Oh, yeah, day. you got very excited, clap hands. <laughs> <laughs> chicken nuggets, you say it like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, but they put little chicks, like the fucking little baby chickens, in the grinders. So you're not only just eating like yeah, their breasts, eating, yeah, they their emulsify and shit. You're eating their fucking beaks, their fucking feet. Things? Yeah, they use emulsifiers. And if you're eating food, look at the back. Look at the very uh, list of ingredients. If there's something called emulsifier, any type of it in your food, it's fucking rank. It molds shit together. Like it melts everything together. Oh, it's I feel <clears throat> like I can't do I, McDonald's I remember the, anymore. I remember the first time I was with Michael when he ordered just chicken nuggets. <laughs> and we went up. It might have been KFC, but anyway... And we, we walked up to the counter and Mark goes, can I get 20 chicken nuggets? <laughs> That's it. And then he looks at me and he goes, and he goes, oh, excuse me. Can they be fresh, please? <laughs> oh, <And> he, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. dude, I would, I would, I would always nuggets. get it fresh. If it was stale, I can't. And yeah, it. you turn to me and you go, I refuse to <laughs> eat them when they're not fresh. <laughs> but like, it's the it same was a thing. real nugget connoisseur, Mogul was back in the day. <laughs> He'd nibble on them. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, very good it's too breast. dry. <laughs> nah, it's too dry. Um, but yeah, like even with fucking cooking food at home, I can't have it once it's been cold. 
Because mm. it, it, I don't know, it just takes. Yeah, like, I think you'll think grow about out pasta. Of that too, though. Think about pasta, right? You have pasta the next day. It's not no, what but it's some, like dude, fresh. Sometimes it's better because it's marinating in it. Yeah, everything. I know. Everyone and says then, that. Uh, like, so yeah, okay. Dude. Well, I wouldn't go with a microwave. I'd go more. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And then it's, like, oh. it's yeah, you could do that too. It's so easy. It's, it's yeah, it's a an pan. OCD thing. But yeah, I'm, I reckon you'll grow out. You of that can too. definitely tell. Like, you you even know when you have fucking fast food, if it's not if it hasn't been cooked then and there. It's like terrible if it's been sitting there for a fucking half an hour or even like 10 minutes. It's not as good. On this day in 2017, Ellen DeGeneres was recorded doing that dance that she does in a car park. After threatening a few passers-by who made eye contact with her, police were called. The police called for backup and that's when Ellen became uncooperative and violent. She was tasered by three separate police but still managed to scull a litre of (laughs) petrol. It took six police officers to restrain her and she spent two weeks in jail. In a statement released to the media, Ellen explained that her personal life is her personal life and everyone needs to back off and keep watching her bullshit fairy show. Then she spat at a puppy. (laughs) She spat at a puppy. Wow. How do you spit when you spit? At puppies. It's different at puppies. It's more of a mist. I spread it out a bit more, but if it's a full grown animal, I really try and concentrate it and blow it out as hard and fast as I can. How, do, how about yourself, mate? <laughs> I like, I did it the other day. What I went the fuck on are you a, wearing here, eh? Yeah, I wanted to get more godlike. Ooh, Have you that? guys been keeping up to date with uh, Ellen's yeah, Ellen, stuffers? I think she came out and apologized for her staffing. Yeah, apparently, bullying. she's a fucking bitch. Apparently Dude, apparently, a, a lot bitch. of people in Hollywood are bitches slash pedophiles. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't think Ellen, though, like who, the way she brands herself, that she's like. Unbelievable. Well, yeah. I, so I heard different. I heard it was the, her producers that were the the mean ones. Oh, really? But you yeah, never guess, know. Yeah, exactly. You never know. But you know, I guess you got to weigh up when you're in when you're on one of those shows that are so big like that. You know, of course, there's going to be times where you lash out at your staff. It happens. That's work. Yeah, That's a yeah. workplace. Yeah. But like, fuck. I'm not, I'm not condoning it. I'm not it. condoning it though. <laughs> <I> guess- <laughs> We used to make fun of Ellen DeGeneres even before she was a piece of shit. <laughs> For her fucking dance when she's walking down the stairs. Revolting. <laughs> fucking disgusting. So oh, cringe. yeah, I feel sick. Cut that, Connor, I think. No. No. no I, I feel sick about what I was doing there. But yeah, dude, like that motion, that over and over and back and forth is that's so all- fucked. And then that's all she does. Next segment. And that's the name of the next segment, isn't oh, it, Matt? Yes. You renamed it. And uh, in this segment, we um, answer fucking questions that you dogs oh. have sent in. Next question is from one underscore zinner underscore one. For those, if you really like this question, you think, fuck, man, that, that guy sounds interesting. Yeah, I might, I might go and see what he's about. And he, you want to see what is. his life is like? That's his username if you want to do that. Anyway, let's see what he said, hey? Marty and Michael, would you rather sit on a dildo and eat a dick or sit on a dick and eat a dildo? I'd probably rather sit on a dick just because statistically they're probably smaller than most dildos and therefore less pain. But I would ride that cock. I would stand and twist. (laughs) Stand and twist. Um, no, yeah, I don't yeah, know. It's, it's such a hard... You flip a coin. Because it's actually... Because actually you probably go the dildo. Because that, yeah, that way there's no chance of getting diseases. And then the, oh, you only have to eat a dick. It's probably harder to eat a dildo. You, just, you could probably just ball a dick up and swallow it in one go. Yeah, it, just, it might not even be hard. He's like... Yeah, yeah. Flaccid nah, yeah. cock, put into well, a ball. Well, if you swallow it, yeah. It'd have to be like a, a cut-off dick, which wouldn't be hard. It'd just be a little bit of a clear. be like a little sausage. Oh, no, I'm a sausage. Boil it. German. Bo- boil German. it with it's tea. Very German. Boil it with a bit of mint leaves on it and then fucking pop it in your mouth. Oh, is that <laughs> what Germans do? They have yeah, mint leaves. cocks. That's how they eat cocks. <laughs> oh, truce, truce. All right, next question is from Michael Cox. And those of you who think, <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder... Um, his at is Mousy Cox M-O-U-S-E-Y C-O-X Alright hmm? Let's see what he said eh Podcast question You guys are indirectly helping thousands of people every week With the pods and daily With their videos in regards 
their mental state and spreading laughter and positivity. How aware of this are you and how does this make you guys feel to make such a difference this way? Sorry, it's a bit of a deep one, but very important. Oh, cheers, dude. We get messages from people and it fucking helps. Yeah, it's, like, always, it's always ooh. fun reading comments and shit, I guess. if like, Because that's, you know, especially if it's a well-liked video. Yeah, or even just the DMs because we try and go through them all. But yeah, sometimes you get these messages of people saying they're so down and so upset and literally they watch our shit and it fucking makes them happy and it makes your heart feel like it's there. Mm, it's nice to feel. Yeah. No, so, it's just no. you're just making people happy, yeah, which, is, which yeah, is nice. We want to do good and we're glad that we help people that like it. So, yeah, it's sort of the reason why we started it, really. It's the reason why we get up in the morning. Yeah, it gives you like a fucking reason to wake up. So, no, we sort of do realize, but sometimes we don't. Mm. Sometimes we forget. We get a bit cheeky, don't we, Matthew Brown? (laughs) Don't we do that? You see when we forget, don't you, Matt? I'm your memory. Mm. Yeah, he literally is a little memory bank. <laughs> Cancer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> now I'm down. I'm, I, I want to piss on my new house. I'm going to piss on my new house. <laughs> we can start whispering random words. I think it's going to add something. All right. Next question is from Seamus Deneen or Seamus the Shrimp. Surely you're getting Julian Woods back on the potty. One of your best potties was with him. Fucking love that potty. I know it wasn't a question, but I'm fucked up on coke at that tonight. And I would be pissed tomorrow if I didn't tell you. And I want, thought it would be good. Also, cheers for using my question in the potty a while back on that. All the shit question me. You can't made it so fucking funny. We can Well, we want to get a few other people we haven't had on before. Like hence Charmy, Jaden and the guys. Yeah. But we also want to... Why not get fucking... I want Matt Brown to come back on. <laughs> yeah, but he do. refuses. He won't even fucking let his face come about when he goes to fix up a cord. How dare you? <laughs> you look so good with a beanie. What do you want? I just want you on my lap. I've said it for weeks now and you've done nothing. It would be good if you... I can't get out it. If Think you, about it. If you took it in turns. Look at yourself, mate. You need to fucking look at yourself. Yeah, I can't. So oh, there I am. Hang on. It Stop. W- oh, hang on. Yeah, there. There I am. I want the camera to see you. Look how <laughs> fucking cute he is. That's what I want in my lap. That's my mate. I need him by my side. He's always in there. It would I be nice you. if you would sit, miss you, man. sit on our laps for the entire podcast and just have a mic here. <laughs> <laughs> would you? <laughs> like a little puppet. I want a you back. A little puppet on us. No, yeah. I like being like the... I'm kind of like the backup singer. <laughs> oh. I want you back, dude. Ooh. Hmm. Our next question from Carl James Manahan or manahan.cj18. Hello, guys. I have a question for your next podcast. If you were all to go back in time, which civilization slash human era would you visit? Guys, visit and impart the knowledge that you guys have now since you're really good scientists. Yeah, good, good question. Because you don't want to go back too far because the further back you go, the, you can't really relate to anyone. You can't I talk. I want to go back to how the pyramids were getting built. Oh, yeah. That would that actually be... That is something that would get me off. All right, if you could go back and, to... And by the way, let's bring this up because it's fucking cool. Joe Rogan's posted the New York Times post about the fucking... They've admitted oh. to having alien craft or... Yeah. Yeah, like, you guys should the, fucking... Uh, something out of this world. It's... There's some cool God, shit coming out. Some Bob cool Lazar shit. is cool. Fucking George Knapp, we love you. You Did guys are rad. We need you. Thank you. I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop. I can't sleep anymore. I can't <laughs> fucking. I can't, I, I'm depressed. <laughs> Did you guys see the post about Elon Musk? And I think he said something about the pyramids maybe being built by aliens. And so Egypt invited him to come inspect the pyramids or something like that. Oh, I think it's along yeah. those lines. Oh. It was more of a like, well, if you think they're made by aliens, please come and inspect them. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah, dude. That's... Yeah, well, so what, I'd probably... Or the, maybe the Big Bang. You go back to the Big Bang. Yeah, how the see fuck what did it all begin? Some cunt in another fucking realm or like dimensions pressed a button and went just a school project mm. in a supercomputer. I had a really good theory once about the Big Bang. It's actually... It's actually Earth, but like millions of years ago, they we actually built nuclear weapons, 
and they sent them into space to try and get rid of them and the explosion was the actual Big Bang. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Matthew Brown. Brown. There you go. Matthew Brown. You brown my mind, man. <clears throat> Gregify it. Next question is from Mech 696969 or I underscore am underscore sped underscore Kerchow. And he or she has asked, are oranges named orange because it's orange or is orange named orange because it looks orange? And oranges are orange because they are just, oh, they're orange. Next question. What do you reckon? Like, fuck it. Think, think about it, honestly. Orange is... Why are lemons not called yellow? Are yeah. they? Are, I'm pretty sure. Are they? Um, no, no, they're not. I just checked. Mandarins. Aren't lemons yellow and limes green? Why aren't no, mandarins why aren't called little oranges? Yeah. Or, why aren't grapes called... Or potatoes, like, just call them hot chips because that's what they're turning into. Wow. We fucking... Saves time. Well, mandarin and tangerine are two words for the same thing. Technically, citrus... They're called mandarins because they were thought to be a native to China. Why isn't rice called white ants? Well, I guess because there's such a thing as white ants also. It would be confusing. The termites, remember? Oh, yeah. Remember the termites... Yeah, dude, the shed days, I do. Um, what other animals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, had a moment there. There comes the old. Talking about fruit. Here comes the old Alzheimer's. Yeah, it? we'll be a <laughs> brand, not yeah, so cool. the reason it is, yeah. Well, what we just said. All right, Rachel Dunaway or R A underscore Dunaway has said, "G'day, my favourite cunts. If you were arrested with no explanation." What would your friends and family assume you had done? Oh, man. Back in the day, it would have been like a... You would be fucking done for damage. <laughs> <laughs> Same with me to a degree. We would have broken yeah, something in destruction. We just would... I don't know what you call it. Like fucking violent. Not violent, but angry kids. Michael would be arrested for spreading his asshole in front of people who didn't want to see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever yeah. charge comes with that <laughs> yeah. sexual harassment, sexual <laughs> nudity. But yeah, like I guess it's it's not to children or women in a sexual way. It's it's yeah, trying it's to show a, your mate. It's just having a fucking laugh with the boys. You can't fucking they get their asshole around the boys, right? And get fucking pissed off, can't? Yeah, but, fucking can't. Yeah, All yeah. the boys love a good asshole, can't? <laughs> it's, 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 it's fucking go to. It's a go to joke of ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to the website. You'll oh. fucking see it all. Marty would be arrested for not sitting down during a during a movie in the during cinemas. During a stampede, just kept dancing in the cinemas <laughs> when he's meant yeah. to be seated. I don't know what. Yeah, these days you're pretty. You fucking. You're all right. You don't. Oh, uh, you don't break shit anymore. You might. No, nah, you yeah. heaps. Yeah, it's so much used better. But um, yeah, what oh, else? Fuck, um, I don't know. Like, kidnapping uh, might be a kidnapping charge. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that was a couple of years. I found ago. Marty's decisions were very loose when I first met him. Now they're a little bit more thought through. Like when I first met him, we were um, oh, first properly had a conversation with him. We were um, at a hotel down south, and he walked up to me. He used to love coming up to me and say, "Kiss me." And he'd whisper it in your ear. And one, and one time he did that and I said no. And so his anger of me saying no, he grabbed an empty beer bottle and he just threw it off the balcony. We didn't even look where. And like there was cars and <laughs> cars and stuff below. But, you know, just a bit of loose, just yeah, loose. Yeah, he doesn't but, think before he does. Yeah, because yeah, like, as you get older, you lose. Well, you just have nothing to lose back then, so you don't need to think about the consequences. But now, he, now we have shit to lose. So we have yeah. hands in a pram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now he would look to aim and then throw it. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. He'd make sure he fucking hit, hit something kid. that he wanted. Yeah, and make sure Sam filmed it too. Next question from Sean Cloonan. Sean underscore Cloonan. The CL triple O. Eyeball on it. Yeah, that's three. N A N. And he has asked, just watched it. Love it. Thanks, brothers. Can you use this for the podcast if you like? But I'm just genuinely curious. What breeze is Bosley? He has human like eyes and it freaks me out. It's good though. I take a Bosley clone. He's a boxer cross wolfhound with some mastiff sucking in there somewhere. His mum was a purebred wolfhound. Massive bitch. Huge, humongous, monstrous thing. 
And Bosley's father was a, was a boxer across Mastiff. And they fucked. They had a fuck in a backyard. Rolling around. Dog spoof pumped up it. Spat out Bosley. Loved her. <laughs> Such a mummy's boy, Bosley was. Wasn't he, Bosley, hey? His little darling. Where's my little schnookney pup, hey? Where's my little dog? <laughs> <laughs> he looked up. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I'm so glad you were distracted with that bullshit because I just Oh, you fucking coward. Woo! (laughs) Fucking coward. Oh, Bosley's look then was so cute. My little darling. Beijing! As the name of the next segment. And this is a segment where we just unbox oh, everything wait. you guys have sent to what us. The fuck with <laughs> Beijing! <laughs> that was so shit. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, read who it's from. Who's it from? All right, let's have a look here. We have Patrick now, Patrick Hart. This is potentially I've gotten a DM from someone oh, saying no. that they have sent a condom filled with cum. Fuck off. And then what if it we explodes when it opens it? We have to consume it. I'm scared. I don't know which one. I'm gonna open Pisspear. it just oh. in your direction. Piss beer is the full one. Yeah. Let's open it in your direction there. Can you see inside, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got... Let's read it first. Let's read it. It's a picture of us, our oh, P.O. Wow. box. And a brick in there, too. Yeah, you're getting so excited for drugs. Yeah. Is so it's been a long hopeful. time. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> it's like a... Uh, all right, here we go. Because <laughs> it's like an excuse to do it. Hey, Marty and Michael. Love your content. Thanks for the call the other week. So, life. if you put some light in front of it, it should light up. Is yeah, I can see it is? better. So, check it out. The B oh the three D print came out a bit wonky. Oh. And the rock is called Sam. He's from Sam's oh, look, Garden. Look oh Holy shit, we're like a holographic. Okay, so for those who can't see, it's like this plastic looking curved, like hard see through thing and it's a pic you can see a picture of me and Michael on there, like our profile picture on Facebook. And Wow uh, and w- That's so special. I like that so much better than the whoopee cushion. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the whoopee cushion was good. Yeah, I think uh, was good. sorry. Uh, thank you very much, Patrick Hart. Fucking hell, that's you're a bloody legend, it's mate. Incredible. So it's a three D print, is what that is. This is this is special. I love how people send in put things that we can put Dude. on the podcast, like put on the table. Like I, I love that. And yeah, so everyone knows I've fully got a box for everything that's been sent, apart from. Yeah, we keep everything. The, the, and if the we herbs can, if we can, that we've been put, it put into out. our lungs. But like we, I keep them all and I'm going to one day before like I die, I'm going to look back at them and go. And set fire to them. <laughs> and say, I'm glad that chapter of my life's over with. On to the next. <laughs> no. I no, I really love it. It's cool. Yeah, it's no, like it is cool. To- it's, it's like a trip down memory lane. Isn't that right? Every time we do that. Isn't that right, everyone? Isn't that right? It's like a trip down bloody memory lane. You remember, oh, yeah, I remember that one episode. Isn't that right? Why are you guys ignoring me, man? Next yeah. uh, segment. N- the next segment has been renamed to uh, like, like probably like, rah, rrr, mm, a really angry one like that. Mm, uh, yeah, that's what it's been renamed to. Jamaica. And this is a segment where we do a prank call, okay? Prank calls that you guys send in, you DM um, to us. Um, um, stunt um. time? Ah. Uh, oh, fuck. How dare you? All right. You're cutting the fans short. Yeah, fuck. Sorry, we nearly guys. forgot stunt time. So um, that negma- segment name change um, is also the name of this segment, stunt time. So, um, yeah. And here we're for today's start. Oh, we do crazy shit, man. Whoa. Whoa, I'm on a roller coaster. I can't stop. Whoa, it's crazy shit. And this week we'll be super gluing our hands together for the rest of the episode. Oh, wait, that's so bad. I was just... Hey, Marty and Michael, we're crazy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Everything will be fine. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Our clearly, skin will melt clearly. together. All right, Michael's putting. Long, 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 long,
Let's see what happens. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I was so ready. I was so ready. I, have, I wanted to hold your hand. Um, for those it's watching, Michael just poured a super glue all over his hands and I closed his hand. So there's Matthew it's Brown. Like, that was an accident. Help me. It was an accident. <laughs> Matthew was Brown, an accident. I need you to help me. <laughs> it's our new table. You can't fuck it up. This you can't clang. fuck it up. Clang, clang, clang. Clang, clang, clang. Get the, get the drops. <laughs> The drill puppy. Oh yeah, that's that's shot. <laughs> that's cool. Clang clang clang. Clang clang. Yeah, I'm helping you get closer. Hey, you need to back off, man. You're coming in hot, and your wheels aren't even out. They're still up. The landing gear hasn't even been come down yet, man. You need to back. <laughs> Domino's just sent you a text. That's, oh, that's so a fucking ball, good. Dude. The landing gear hasn't even done come out. What did you say? <laughs> All right. It's special Friday today. Look at that. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's special I wanted Friday. Matt to think that we'd come up with a new segment that we hadn't even told him about. Special Friday. Next segment has been renamed. <laughs> and this is That's a segment. the best one in a long time. And this is a segment where we just do a prank call. We prank call anyone, everyone. People throw us numbers. We call, oh, your mum's dead. <laughs> oh, just <talking. laughs> <laughs> oh, you have two weeks to live. Oh, just kidding. Oh. Have a good day. <laughs> Three. 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 Oh, you're broken. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just kept missing, mate. You ran out of right, quarters. Mate? You kept fucking missing you your shot. You ran out of quarters. <laughs> <laughs> you kept missing it. <laughs> you need three more quarters to continue playing. Oh, I don't know, man. My hands are broken. Ooh. All right, get the prank up. Here we go. Okay, fuck. God, I'm getting distracted. Here we go. Three. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, dude. It's changed my life. I've fucking have a reason to get more up. Hey, boys, can you prank call my mate Ben? And then he's got his last name for the podcast. He's a plumber and he has been working on a lot on Saturdays lately. Whenever he works on the weekends, he tends to slack off on the safety side of things like not wearing his orange high-vis shirt. Can you say some shit like you're a safety representative and you walked past a domestic home he was working on and him saw him working without a high-vis shirt? This fucking super glue, it sticks to you, eh? I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that, man. You've got it on. Well, it's Ben speaking. Hello, Ben. It's just Miranda here from Workplace Health and Safety. How are you today? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Um, so we've spoken with your boss, Andrew, from... And um, there's, there's been reports that um, you've actually been uh, not wearing your high-vis shirt on, on two... I've got two dates here in front of me. Is that, is that true at all? Uh, yeah, I probably would have been wearing a race shirt. Yeah, right. So, um, at the moment, um, they're actually really cracking down on, on people not wearing high vis, and um, there's actually um, infringement notices being handed out. So, unfortunately, yep. um, yeah, we'll have to get you um, to pay the infringement notice, and also you might have to come down and um, just give your fingerprints because they've just got this whole new procedure and um, COVID. with COVID and everything. So, um, if you could come down and just give your fingerprints as well, that would be great. Is that a mandatory thing? Yeah, it is for everyone now. Just since, I don't know, April or something this year. Yeah, it's just passed through. Yeah, right. Yeah, and the infringement notices, um, so there'll be three. There's one for indecent exposure. Um, so it's actually uh, deemed indecent exposure these days if you don't have your high-vis shirt on, even if you are wearing clothing underneath. Okay. Yeah, so that's the first one. And then the second one is, of course, um, uh, the breach of safety. So um, that one's up to $450 now. Uh, they've And again, that's just sort of gone up just because of COVID and, and stuff like that. Can I just mark down here? I just got to mark down when you think you can come in to the closest office and just drop off your fingerprints and also just your, um, they'll have to take your mugshot and stuff as well now. Wait, when did all this happen? I've got the dates here in front of me. Um, so the last time you um, were... Reported to be not wearing the high vis. One second. Oh, that's the bloody computer. <laughs> um, let's see. 
So the first time was the 25th of uh, July. Sorry, the, the last time, the 25th of July. So what's that? Um, that's that two, uh, two Saturdays ago, is it? Yeah, two Saturdays ago. And then the one prior to that was on the 11th of July. So that was um, then two weekends before that. And um, yeah, we, and we had to speak to your boss and everything about it. You know, it's just not, it's just not a good look for him and stuff like that. So yeah. right, two Saturdays ago, I wasn't even working. Uh, well, it says here. You've been acting yeah, that's the date I've got written down here. So whoever's um, put a complaint in says that you were working on the 25th. And well, I don't want to argue with you, but I haven't worked this Saturday in about three months. Well, you've uh, at the beginning of the conversation, you agreed that you haven't been wearing a high-vis shirt. Okay, so please don't try and play the morally righteous card right now, okay? Because really, it's quite dangerous, to be honest. COVID's a bit. No, I'm not sure. I'm not trying it's to COVID like, around. Like, it's COVID yeah. around and, and people always taking their bloody high-vis off and then don't get seen and boom, truck bloody takes them out of some shit. You never bloody know these days. Yeah, I'm not, don't get angry with me. I'm not trying to get angry with you. I'm just no, saying, it's just, like, like, no, I'm, I do, I'm, 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 I'm passionate I'm for my job. I'm just, I'm just I'm just passionate about it, do you know what I mean? So I just really want Yeah, no, it's fair enough. But look, I, I genuinely haven't worked on Saturday in about three months. Like, you can ask work. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, if there's a report come through on a Saturday, well, I haven't been working, so I don't know how it's yeah. happening. Okay, well, look, you can dispute it. Okay, you can, you can go dispute it, but you'll have to go to the magistrate's court, and that's quite a lengthy process. It's about six months or something. So I'm just letting you know that those um, complaints, they have been validated. That has happened. So, yeah, those infringements, they're coming. Why are you yelling? I'm just a bit worked up, it's all. I'm just... Yeah, but- my grandpa's. Who do you work for, sorry? My grandpa's guy. I actually work for a coal miner. Okay. A coal miner? Yes. Okay, you got me. This is a prank call. Oh my god, is this Marty Mark? Mar- <laughs> 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 I thought he I thought he knew yeah, from fucking dude, I day. Thought, I thought day I'd dot. fucked that up right at the start. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what, were you, what were you picturing me as? <laughs> like a fucking. Honestly, I thought you were just some. Oh, you sound really gay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no way, that's funny as. <laughs> oh, good on you, dude. You're a fucking champion. <laughs> um, oh, that's made my day, honestly. That's been. Yeah, your mate <laughs> said it in, dude. Yeah. He, he fucking. Oh, he said well, to try and put on a new mate. voice. Was it Josh? Um, let me have a look. I think there was two mates who wrote the same fucking prank in. Yeah, so he's I like, think was make the- sure you change your voice as much as possible because he'll be on to you. The first one is... Oh, I, I thought you knew as soon as we started. All right, dude. Well, thanks for being a legend and um, we love you, okay? No drama. Don't forget to wear the high Yeah, put your high on, Josh. See you, mate. All right, see ya. Bye. That was not bad. That was very good, dude. It gave me... Co- it gave me... Confidence when he was like, when I knew that he still believed that I was someone else. Yeah, he I was, was like, at the so start. I was like, why mum- are you yelling? I, I mumbled a bit and like <laughs> fucked up a bit, and then you and then I was like, oh like- fuck, surely he knows. And then because he's like, g'day mate. And then I was like, fuck. But then he didn't. I love when he was like, <laughs> um, yeah, why are you yelling? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why are you? And you're like, I was just so a little hoping, bit worked up. I was wanting you to be like, oh, my <laughs> grandpa passionate. just passed away from COVID, so I'm a bit upset. Yeah, I just going like a real sad sort of, like story. Yeah, I was gonna. I was, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it went weird at the end. I just came clean. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, but like when that happens, and I know his. You guys got to realize Matt goes to other rooms, or he's just sitting on the couch. At the end, cringing because it is cringeworthy to watch. Like yeah, it's it so hard. hard it's to- so hard to deal with it at the start, especially when they get real fired up. Yeah, yeah. Like I struggle so sometimes. Like, yeah, I fucking struggle to push through for the laugh. And then yeah, yeah. I return just as like the the reveal happens. Yeah. yeah, but fuck. If you had have gotten to a point where like you made him feel sorry for like you losing a family member of. <laughs> Like forever, no, and like you're really down, done. so you're just taking your anger out on him, <laughs> and see what he said to that. Oh damn like, it! Could have been so. You know what I wish I did was just at the start of the end, just start sc- screaming louder and louder and deeper and deeper, yeah. and just guess until I'm just screaming really deep and loud at the very end. <laughs> that would have been good. Because like, why Fuck. why come clean when you can just fucking take it to the next level? And even if it fucks up, then it's gonna be funny. Yeah, but like, yeah, we know this. We're like, it's you. You're the fucking master of it. At least we can. You'll improve for next time. And now that's we know why for next time we are 
the bomb diggity bitch best. <laughs> mm. Yeah! The best. The best. <laughs> We're the best. <laughs> There's a bottle of piss on the table. Three. <laughs> Three.